Hi there, so in this video I'm going to show you how to remove the background from a photo such as this hot air balloon and the reason I picked this is because it's very similar to if you were removing the background from a, a portrait where the person has obviously hair you don't want to get rid of but obviously you want to get rid of the background in between so there's many ways of doing this I'm just going to show you a, a fairly quick and simple way to do it using the background eraser tool and a couple of layers so at the moment the background here the photo is just on a static layer and it's fixed so if we double click on that we actually call this balloon we've now created a, a kind of a layer that's movable so if we erase that or just uh, click the eye there you can actually see that we've we've got a kind of a clear background to work from what we also need to do is create a new layer and we're going to call this color and the reason I'm calling it that is we want to have a background layer with a quite a vibrant color so we can see where we've erased so if we made any mistakes we can actually see those quite clearly so if we go to the foreground color here and select it you can see I've already selected quite a vibrant kind of lime greeny yellow color so if I click OK then we select the the fill tool the paint bucket tool and if we click we've now created that layer as a completely bright yellow background so then what you want to do is bring that and drag it down below the balloon so the actual balloon is on top of that crazy uh, yellowy color okay so next what we want to do is actually get rid of the background and one good way of doing that is by clicking on the eraser tool right click on the eraser tool select the background eraser tool like so and then change the size of the actual eraser to whatever you think would be good so I'm going to go to about there I will adjust it as we go through but I'm going to leave it at that for now and then you want to select the middle selection here which I think is the sampling once so we just need to sample once so the little cross in the middle will sample the color and then erase that and we want it set to the limit of contiguous and the tolerance this is where you will adjust it based on your photo and what sort of colors you're working with at the moment I'm going to set it to around 34% just to see how that works so once you've done all of that you click any area that you're going to erase and select that color so if I now left click on the blue sorry I have to actually right make sure that you've selected the foreground layer which is the actual balloon so if we select that there and then go back and put the cross over the color you want to erase left click and you can see already it's getting rid of that but you can also see that it's getting rid of a lot of color in the balloon as well which we don't want so if we control alt and z can go back and we set the tolerance back down to say 18% and see what that does so again left click on the blue and you can see now it's removing the background but not part of the balloon so we know we've got a good selection there and always move the central cross over the part of the um, image you want to actually select the color and actually get rid of so we'll just keep doing that all the way around at the moment what I would suggest is that you actually do this all the way around the edge first before working on anything else so if we just go as far around the edge as we can you can see it's getting rid of those bits in between the the wires as well so if we click on those and you can just keep clicking to select the different shades of the blue as you go like so zoom right in there to get this little bit inside just leaving the the cables behind and obviously you can experiment with this on the the level the, the strength and the tolerance you want to actually work with but I'm just gonna quickly go with this here do all this keep going and you basically go around the entire photo just around the outside of the object you're trying to get rid of um, doing the same sort of thing and just selecting all those colors so I'll just go around to here because we've got some clouds there that present a slight problem because they're a gray that's very similar to the balloon so I'll come to those in a sec but what I'll do is work my way all around the balloon and then come back so I've gone all the way around the balloon now and you can see we've gone right in between all the lines and everything even between all these little steps on the ladder but when we get to the cloud you can see it's more difficult because it's hard to actually select all of the cloud so what I've done is increase the tolerance so if we put this right up now to about 58% or whatever and reduce the size of the the brush we can actually fine tune that a little bit and go and actually get rid of the cloud as well but we need to just again just go around the outside like this and I'll explain why in a second so if we just make sure we get as close to those as possible and get rid of the cloud bits of the blue so you can see there we're, we're too strong so we've actually gone into the balloon so I'll reduce it down a bit again to about 31 and just try and get as much of that sky to go without 
going too much into the balloon. Let's reduce the size of the brush again. Going really close. Just make sure that we, we faded the balloon a bit, but that doesn't matter too much. I'll show you at the end. So we can just get rid of those. But as long as we've got a line, clear line going all the way around the balloon to where it's completely gone to yellow, like that, then we can actually increase the tolerance of the brush to 100%, go right up to 100%. In fact, an easier thing to do at this point, rather than just go to 100%, is actually change the eraser to the pure eraser tool. So then you're not reliant on color. So if we do that, and then just select the size, that will then completely get rid of the, the background without having to worry about color. And what that will also do is show up any anomalies where you've actually slightly missed. So if we zoom in here, you can see there's slight shades there that we've missed. So if we go over that, then obviously we can completely clean up the entire image all these little bits here so I'll I'll do that get rid of everything else and then we'll, we'll go back so there we go we've completely erased the background we've completely got everything yellow leaving in all the the cables and wires and everything so if we actually click on the color background and get rid of it you can see now we've got just the balloon floating around in nothingness so what we can then do is select an image such as this lightning image and if you press either Control A or just drag and select the whole image and then Control or Command C to copy that image, you can then select the background layer and then Control V or you can go to Edit, Paste Special, Paste Into Place and that will pop it into the background and then Control T or Command T if you're on a Mac and then just shift and drag the edges so that it goes completely into the background like that and then just select OK and you've got a balloon <laughs> doesn't look right because it looks like it's flying along on its side but it just shows you that the balloon is now in place select the balloon you can fly it all over the screen so it's all in place with a completely new background with all the cables and wires still showing through so there you go I hope that helps um, like I say any problems with it just change the tolerance levels of the the background eraser tool up here just play with that so you make sure you're getting rid of the colors and obviously this works best when you've got a fairly plain background image where you want to reduce that and get rid of it and change the colors etc so if I actually just very quickly if I get rid of that layer and reselect the color once you've done that you can press command U or control U to bring up the actual hue saturation and then you can change the color of that oops sorry let's make sure we've got the color selected press control command U and then you can change the hue and color of the actual background if you wanted to put it into a design for a, a magazine or um, something like that or a logo then obviously you can change those colors pretty easily or you can just drop a photo in like we did before but I hope that helps uh, any problems just give me a shout or just add something in the comments but uh, we'll see you on the next video